What's up travel photographers? I'm Brendan Vanson of brendansadventures.com and today I'm going to be reviewing this beast. This is the Nanu Outlander 50 liter camera backpack for outdoor travel. Let's check it out. So one of the things I knew I had to do when I got back home to North America was change up my camera bag. Now my old bag God bless it, was brilliant. This bag did um, wonders for me. It got me across Africa on my scooter. It got me everywhere. It took an absolute beating, but it's old now. You can see it's been ripped up here and it's just getting old. The other thing I had a problem with this bag, this is a Kata bag, by the way, and Kata is actually made by Manfrotto now, I think. Um, but it was a great bag, nice padding, but it wasn't really good for hiking and in general travel because this back is just really, really, really moisture and heat absorbent. So my back got really sweaty and my straps got really dirty because of my sweat. So although it was a great bag, it just wasn't perfect. The other thing was that the top area wasn't big enough. It was really good and probably one of the best you can get on the market in terms of combining both top loading capability and the bottom storage, but it still wasn't enough in the top. So I went with, a Nanu bag. Now Nanu is a very small brand, but they do really specific gear and really good top quality gear. And I wanted to go big. I'm traveling 365 days a year. I always have a lot of gear. I have um, one camera body at the moment. I'm getting a second camera body in the next couple of months. And I have four lenses. So I need a lot of room just in the camera compartment. But then since I'm traveling, I also need a ton of space in the top where I can put a tent, where I can put a sleeping bag, where I can put, you know, filters and my laptop and all sorts of things. So when I looked at bags, this seemed like the right choice. Now, this is 50 liters and that 50 liters means when the camera pouch, which is bent down here, uh, is out, it can hold 50 liters worth of gear, which is great. That's exactly what I need. Now, I'll show you how it works without trying to be too noisy. But basically you've got your giant pouch and then inside here you've got these weather sealed zippers which are cool. You've got your camera area so there's a little mesh pouch there and then this is your... Oh. Man it's a little bit tough to get out as you can see but this is your camera pouch and this comes completely out of the bag. Let me just do it normally. This is your camera pouch that goes inside that bag. And basically this is just for camera gear. It opens like any other camera bag would. And in here, you've got room for, you know, one DSLR with a 70 to 200 and then four lenses, probably even a flash or something else if you wanted to. Up here, you've also got a little bag for some stuff there. And yeah, that's about it. You've also got a tripod holder on the side if you want to, and a little pouch on the front. Um, right now it's not out, but you can pull shoulder straps out. And what I love about this bag is it has this soft mesh back, and the shoulder straps are also very, very good. They're not going to get sweaty like my old bag did. What I really don't like about this pouch is it's just kind of weird looking. It's really square, and I, I think if I wore this, I would look like, you know, a little girl trying to look all cutesy on the back by itself. So I can't really see myself wearing this as a standalone. Um, I'd probably take just a side bag instead of using this. But inside the bag, it's great. I think the versatility of it is nice. The ability to take it out and even just hand walk it around is nice. So I can't complain about that. I'll never complain about having more versatility. The other cool thing about that is that if you have this bag on your back, on your shoulders, full of gear, say you're out shooting in the field, you're on a hiking trip to somewhere exotic, and you want your camera gear around but you don't want it around your neck, you can actually strap this bag on, and I'm not going to pull out the clips, but the clips strap right on here. So if you're one of those hardcore hikers or backpackers, you can strap your camera gear onto here and have it right here to top load and shoot. Uh, if you want to do that, you're going to look a little bit silly like a pregnant woman like this, but it is a good option again. And if you do that, you'll have room, the full 50 liters for other stuff. So you can put a tent, 
you can put your laptop, you can put uh, your sleeping bag and go hiking into the backcountry for like a week without needing anything but this bag. This bag also might be good for you if you're a photographer and you're going like, say backpacking through Europe for a week or South America through, for two weeks because there is enough for your clothing, your laptop, and your camera gear all in one thing. That's probably in a size that you could actually take as carry-on on a flight. I'm really hoping it fits on the carry-on meters because that's how I'm gonna be taking it. Um, looking inside the bag, you won't be able to see it here, but this is what I'm a little bit disappointed with. Inside here you have your laptop holder, which is way down at the bottom and is fine. And you've got like a ceiling pouch, that's the strap. A ceiling pouch to section off the top section from the bottom section, your camera gear from your top gear. But what I'm really disappointed with in this bag is that there's not a whole lot of, well there's none. There is no space in the top for like pouches. They don't have little zippers, they don't have little pockets. So you can't put things like your filters or your cables or anything like that up here because they didn't build any pockets into the top part. It's basically just an open area, it's top stuff. And I guess that comes down to what it's made for. It's made for back backcountry packing in which you would just st stuff all your clothing, your food, your sleeping bag, your tent, all that stuff in here without needing the pouches. But me, I need the pouches because I need to put things like my battery chargers, uh, my extra batteries, my filters, all those things in here. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about that yet. I've gotta find a workaround. I'm probably just gonna buy like a, you know like those bathroom bags, the shaving kit bags that are like this. I think I'll probably just buy one of those that fits this size and stuff it into the top there uh, to make it work. So that's my one disappointment with this bag. Other than that, this bag is beautiful. It's really, really smart. It's a very simple black bag, but it's waterproof, it's well built, there's lots of snaps. You can see the back of this bag is that mesh that keeps the bag away from your back and will keep you nice and cool even when you're hiking. You've got really nice straps there, um, a nice wire cage. You've got extra pouches here for stuff when you're hiking and you've even got a tripod attachment here if you want or you can stuff it away. So yeah, that's the Outlander 50 liter from Nano Bags. And I'm a fan of the bag, as I mentioned. I'm a little bit disappointed with the top loading capabilities. I really wish they would have built in some uh, systems to have extra pouch pouches and things like that in there. But for what I'm trying to do with it, I think it's gonna be perfect. This is gonna be my go-to bag. When I'm traveling, I have one backpack, which used to be the Cata bag, on my shoulders, and then I have the wheelie bag. I have a wheelie bag for all my clothing and the tripods and stuff like that. So. Hopefully this works as a uh, everyday bag for me and I've got a side bag from Epiphany Bags as well that I'm going to be reviewing in short time that'll probably be my secondary bag. So I'll review that when, uh, when the time comes and who knows after a couple weeks of testing this thing out I might come back to you and let you know how I feel about how it's working for me in the field. And yeah that's it for the show that's a review of the Nanu Bags Outlander 50 liter camera bag for outdoor and nature photography. And that's it for the show today. Um, I've got lots of cool stuff coming. I've got some more reviews. I've got a trigger trap review. I've got a review of the Nokia 1520 smartphone and the camera capabilities of that phone. I've also got um, some cool travel coming up. I've still got a video from Iceland and I've got um, a train ride across Canada. I'm going on the Via Rail from here in Toronto all the way to Edmonton, Alberta, and then I've got stuff from the Rockies. Lots of winter stuff coming up, and I'm exhausted just talking about it. So be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. I also want to remind you to head over to brendansadventures.com and sign up for my newsletter. When you do that, you get a free copy of my adventure travel magazine, Vagabundo Magazine, which is full of awesome, awesome travel photography. So be sure to check that out. That's it for me. I'm tired of talking. I talk too much. I always do. I'll catch you next time. Later.